This week's Ion MPI brought to you by DigiKey is Intel's RealSense. That's right. Check out that cool new Intel logo. So this is uh, the RealSense family. We actually covered uh, RealSense LiDAR cameras uh, like eight, nine months ago, um, but they came up with a new product and I thought it was cool. Now, people who watch the show know uh, that I am a total sucker for sensors and edge machine learning devices because I really like machine learning, but I also think privacy is very important. So this is a um, identification system, a facial identification system that's completely on the edge and very affordable. So this is the module. This is the F450, not to be confused with the truck, and the F455, um, which is the enclosed version. Same technology, but one of them is the bare PCB and one of them is enclosed. So I, you know, I played with the enclosed one because it's, of course, easier to use, but for your final product, um, you'd use the bare PCB. Uh, but even the enclosed one, it's like got a lot of mounting holes. Look at how nice this is, a, a full aluminum um, uh, enclosure that's easy to use. Uh, it comes with a kit with a little tripod, a USB cable starting pack. Um, so what is this? This is a depth camera. It's not a true LiDAR. It uses, um, I think, an infrared scatter and uh, two cameras to do depth recognition to do facial authentication. Um, on the edge, so you don't need to be connected to the internet, you don't need to have a cloud computing thing. Everything is stored on the device and it's really easy to use. And what I thought was really cool is they specifically talk about, I mean, some people might say this is like, well, it's accessibility, but it's still like recognizing faces and they don't like any kind of facial recognition. But that said, it does work on a wide range of people with different hairstyles and facial hair and glasses or prostheses and uh, works for people of like a variety of heights. So if you're going to do a facial recognition system, I think this is the least bad, right? Because there's no cloud um, and it's tested to work with a wide range of human faces, yeah. which is good if you're, if you're doing that sort of thing. Um, so this is what's inside of it. So there is a chip, the flash memory, the projector, that's the probably the infrared projector, the illuminator. Um, IR illuminator, IR LED, and two cameras that let you do depth that um, lets you do basic depth mapping and avoids people like holding up a photo of your face and having that work. There's also a secure element. This actually allows you to, you can communicate with it over USB or you are using encrypted uh, data packets. Um, I won't cover that here, but it's in the SDK and the data sheet. So if you're like, I want to have it, everything fully encrypted, you can do that. So even if you're sniffing um, the connection, you wouldn't be able to um, see what, what's going on. Uh, what's neat, I think, about this is on the board itself, uh, you have uh, two ways of connecting. You can power it from three to five volts, so this means it can be powered from uh, you know, USB or from a LiPo battery, or a couple of nickel metal hydride batteries that are rechargeable. There's UART and USB connectivity. Um, the USB, of course, gets you full video, but if you just want to like control it on a device, like as an embedded device, you can use UART, right? So you, you can use it with a microcontroller or a microcomputer. Uh, this is what it looks like. There's a you know, full data sheet with all the connectivity. Bottom right is that flex connector, which has like 54 pins and uh, you know, all of the, um, the pins that let you basically reach in and uh, basically get the video or get the um, infrared data or get like the, the point map from the infrared. Uh, here you can see the projector and the LED are 850 nanometer IR. You know, the IPEX host connector for again, embedding it. Or if you want to use it with a computer, like if you have a, if your system is using a normal desktop computer or single board computer, just use USB. Um, this was the FPC connector. Uh, and then all the pins. So you can look, I'm not gonna go through all of them, everything is brought out. So you, you can integrate this very deeply into your product uh, using a flux connector. Um, so all that hard stuff is taken care of. Um, here is uh, some examples of, um, the, it says audio, but it doesn't actually, ha it doesn't speak, the audio would be handled separately um, because it doesn't have a speaker in the module, but you could have it speak, you could have, um, you know, here's some of the error codes that you can get, how to communicate with the user, to enroll people uh, without a computer and also detect uh, faces without a computer. There's a full SDK. Intel RealSense has a GitHub repo. They have an SDK and example code um, for a variety of use cases and different languages, which I thought was really cool. One of the things that I really liked about this is it's, it's like really embeddable. It's all done for you and the SDK is, is simple but effective. It's just all the things you want and none of the nonsense that you don't want to deal with so you can really quickly integrate this into your product. 
Um, this is a software architecture. Uh, I think, you know, in here, I think it covers some of the encryption stuff and, and all of the stuff that you can touch. Again, I'm not going to talk about the encryption, but you can have it be uh, fully encrypted. And it doesn't store photos of faces. It stores only, like, point vectors of how it identifies the face. It also does, um, like, a fuzzy learning. And so, like, if somebody's face, you know, ages or they're wearing glasses or they're not or they, they grew a beard or they're not or their hair's up or down, or they're wearing a scarf or wearing a mask, you can still identify faces. And we'll, we'll show that in the video. Uh, you can uh, upload, a, so download the, um, if, if you want to get started quickly with Windows, there's an application. You download it uh, because, you know, this is new. I updated the firmware. Um, there's a console code so you can actually see the UART data sent back and forth, which could be really good if you are like, I want to debug my UART code and, and how is the application working. Uh, so you can see all the packet data being sent. Um, I enroll my face, basically just kind of get it nice and centered, tilt to the left, tilt to the right. It did take me a couple tries to get used to how it wants you to scan, but I think a lot of times when you're enrolling people, there's somebody there to kind of like get you enrolled, like it's a security system, and so um, it's, not as, it's not so bad because like once you know how to do it, it's very easy to tell people how to do it, um, but you know, I definitely think like you should enroll with somebody around to start and get, get used to it when you're starting to enroll uh, your group of people. Um, as it's enrolling, you can see the video output, and you can see it's purple because it's doing infrared and, and point cloud stuff. And then once you do that, it uh, can authenticate you, so you can just say, like, detect who it is. Boom! Lady it detected. And as I moved around, it kind of followed me with the green box. So it did a pretty good job of, of detecting, and the detection is, is very fast. It's under a second. So... Available on DigiKey. Right. You can get the module or, again, like I said, the all-in-one starter kit. You're not going to be able to get anything cheaper than this. It's like under 90 bucks for a full, ready-to-go, two cameras plus IR projector. I mean, like, this is the cheapest yeah. edge machine learning face recognition system I've ever seen that you have to do no work to integrate. Like, this one didn't make no me... No code. This didn't make me feel bad. No like, IDE was oh, installed. Like, this cloud thing is going to be bad. No, no there's no, no, no cloud no. thing. It's edge. This thing. is good. And what's nice is that because it's a, you, know, you can get the data over UART, the rest of your system, if it's a security system or a lock or like authentication, whatever, it doesn't have to be that complicated because all the really heavy duty computational stuff is outsourced to this yeah. module. You can, you can run this with an Arduino. Like this could be plugged into an Arduino if you wanted. Ape and microcontroller could communicate with this because it's all over UART. Or if you have a full computer plugged yeah. in over USB, mount it, and it's like, all weatherproofed and nice to go. So yeah. you have two options. Did a very good Easy job. Easy projects with this too, like flip a relay to open up a box or something. So here's a video. Trivial to do. Um, this yeah. is. So uh, this is their um, presentation that they did at CES that was like only a few months ago, showing. Um, this is the engineer showing. You know, of course, there's the mask demo. It works even when you have a, a mask working. Yeah. Everybody uh, has to do a mask demo now. Um, and this is interesting. They actually showed it at slow speed, so you can see at half speed what is going on. It illuminates. The area with the LED, with the LED, it shows this guy. I don't know if he grew a beard or he pasted one on, a mustache, and glasses. It still works with headphones. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's a fake mustache. You don't think he grew it in like five minutes? No. I don't know, man. Um, different angles. One of the things that they really focused on was like, even in different light, different angle, it'll still work. Um, one of the cool things about Edge is you don't have to worry about like if your internet goes down, can you not get into your apartment? Um, but this is this worked really well, showing. Uh, you know, it can't be spoofed with a cell phone image because that's like some old face recognition systems. You could do that. Um, pieces of paper or cell phones won't work, right? It's going to illuminate it. It's going to be like, no, there's a flat um, object in front of me. It has to be a, uh, you know, human-shaped head. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. a good one. And that is this week's on MPI. Okay. Hi, on MPI.